Good morning guys, welcome to vlog number two from spring break 2018. We're back here at Crowder's Mountain this morning and we're about to hike into the boulders we just got here. It's like eight in the morning and it's looking like it's gonna be a great day. So let's go ahead and hike in. Hey guys, we made it to the boulders, so we're, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up now. There's a problem down here, I'll walk you to it. It's a really nice juggy start, kind of, it's called classic overhang. It's like V2, 3. But, you just, oh Jesus fucking Christ. You start down here, then you just follow that big split in these holds up there and then top out. So I'm gonna set the camera up and then I'll get to work on this one. guys so what you just saw were two good warm-up boulders so the first one I did was called classic overhang v2 or v3 and then this one right behind me that you just saw is called two plus two equals five so you start down here with this pretty good really deep side pull and then underneath the face you probably won't be able to tell on the camera also because it's dark but where you see those chalk marks there's actually a really good undercling and you just come up work onto this huge flake the hardest move is just over to this crimp with the left hand. You can see it right there. And then you just top out. So, if you watched last week's video, or the, the last video, it came out probably two or three days before this one. I was working on this V4 over here called Krill, and I wasn't able to get it because it was the last, like, the last climb of the session. So I think I'm going to start out on it today and try to get a repeat on it from where I did it before. So it's going to be the same one before you start on these two horns. Oh. Yep, start on these two horns and then just work your way around through the lip and then up over the face.
Okay guys, I'm back. As you just saw, I was able to get the send on this, which is pretty, makes me pretty happy. I tried it in the last video, if you watched that one and I couldn't do it. But uh, today, it went down without too much trouble. It was just working out a different hand beta for these top slopers. They're really not bad, but if you do the problem a bunch of times, a bunch of attempts, they'll wear down your hands pretty quick. But uh, now we're gonna go up the hill and look for a few more like intermediate difficulty boulders and maybe I'll try classic or red again. I was hoping to have more people out here with us today, but a lot of people due to like reasons like one guy got hurt and another person just couldn't come, they're not here. So I just have Nora with me again, all faithful and one crash pad. So classic or red was kind of sketchy last time with only one spotter and like the hardest move being at the top, but we'll see if I want to try it again. But we're gonna start hiking up the hill and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm standing right in front of Venom V5 here at Dixon School Road Boulders. And I didn't film an intro before I started climbing it because I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it. But I'm sure, I think I'll play the footage before this clip of me getting the send. I sent this about three trips ago and it is by far like the hardest outdoor boulder and like the only outdoor V5 I've ever done. The start is on this really pronounced horn feature that like flakes away from the rock. You have a really like micro foot chip right there. You throw a heel hook and then you work your way up on a super small crimp there that runs down the vein. There's another crimp up there, kind of right in the shadow of that tree. And then as you see in the video, you top out right up there on the horn. Anyways, I'm super excited to get this again. That was fun. Last time I was here, we had a bunch of people and I was able to do it, but my friends weren't able to see it and no one got it on video. So now I can show more of my friends, which makes me really happy. And it was cool just to get the repeat on a hard boulder that took me a while to do before, after already having climbed a pretty good bit this morning. So right now we're probably gonna explore around a little bit more. We're gonna eat lunch soon, it's almost noon. And then uh, maybe do some more climbing. I don't know, we'll see how the day goes. Okay guys, so back with the update right now. If it looks like I'm smiling a lot, that's because I am. I thought all hope was lost and that I had left all the spare batteries at home and the camera was dead. So I've been filming a little bit on my phone for the last couple minutes. And then the greatest thing happened. Right now I'm back on the camera. I was going to look through our lunch pail to see like what we had brought for lunch, like picking out all this delicious food that we brought. We got some fruit, banana, nuts, things like that, and some sandwiches as well. And as I open the lunch box, I pull out two or three items and then the next thing I see is the bag of batteries and I was like oh my god I wish I had been filming like that just made my morning so I'll be able to film a few more I think we're gonna go 
back down the hill after we eat lunch and try to get some maybe more cinematic looking shots of a few of those boulders that I did earlier so I can maybe put together a cooler edit in the video for you guys to see. Um, but right now, just to update you on here as well, uh, this is the view that we're dealing with right now. Once I expose it down properly, is it not just so amazing out here? Hopefully you can hear me over the wind, but it's just a wonderful place to be and a great day to be out here. So we're probably gonna eat lunch within the next couple minutes and then head back down to the boulders. So we just stopped off at Krill and had a fun little session. Nora took some shots out. We met some really cool people climbing, but I didn't film them because I didn't want to make them uncomfortable by like having the camera out in their face and stuff like that. They were really cool. Um, really like good climbers I would say it was nice to meet them they also had cute dogs so Nora loved playing with their dogs of course but I think that's gonna do it for our climbing session today we're hiking out right now and then we're gonna go back to Nora's house and we're gonna play with her dogs before we go to the store later so I'll see you guys when we're in the car All right, so we just got done playing with the dogs. Now we're on our way to the store. We're gonna pick up a few food items for my brother. He's got a camping trip this weekend. And I'm debating on whether or not to film inside the Walmart. Um, this is only my second time ever filming a vlog, so I really, one, I'm not super comfortable doing it. As well as going to a public place like Walmart and having the big camera cage and my microphone and stuff hooked up, people are gonna see me and be like, what the hell is that guy doing? So we'll see if I'm confident enough to vlog in there. If not, you'll catch up with me when we get back to the house. Okay, everyone, we made it to Walmart. Like I said before, it's gonna look weird. Like, it's gonna look really weird if I go in here and film. And also, no one really cares about what we get in Walmart, so I think I'm gonna call it a day here for this vlog. Thank you for watching. We're probably gonna go to Inner Peaks tomorrow, so maybe I'll film a vlog there as well. Should be fun, but for now, like I'm gonna go subscribe. ahead and say bye. Like and subscribe. So Carter is over looking for leaves because he has to take a poop, but <laughs> right now he is actually pooping. If you can see his tiny little body over there, he's taking a poop before he boulders. So, and he has his glasses on, so. Little Carter pooping. <laughs>